OK, so let's proceed with this one by selecting Layer 1. And then we'll stamp the visible elements of all the layers into a new layer. Use the keyboard shortcut, which is Command, Option, Shift on a Mac, or Control, Alt, Shift on a PC, and then type the letter E on the keyboard. This stamps the visible elements of all the layers into a brand new layer. From the View menu, select Fit on Screen. Here I'm going to select the Rectangular Marquee tool in the Tools panel and select a feather of 200-250 pixels. Click just inside of the top left hand corner of the image and drag down to the lower right hand side of the image. The heavy feather radius will round off the corners of the selection quite nicely and feather this effect. What we're going to do is use this to create a vignette. Use the Delete or Backspace key to punch out of the center of this image before going to the Select menu and choosing Deselect. In the Layers panel, choose the Multiply Blend Mode to darken the corners or edges of this image. And then use the Opacity slider to lower the opacity of the effect to Taste. Here I'll use an opacity of around about 50% for this particular vignetting process. As I'm vignetting this image, I'm also noticing that the overall image is getting a little bit dark for my taste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a brightness contrast adjustment. Here I'll come up to the adjustments and choose brightness contrast. And then I'm going to raise the brightness slider significantly until I lighten the foreground rocks. If I don't like the lightning effect in the sky as well, I can mask that by selecting the gradient tool and then choosing the black-white option in the options bar with 100% opacity and then click in the sky and drag down over the rocks holding down the shift key to constrain this to a perfect vertical so I can return the dark sky that I liked earlier but I still now have the lighter foreground rocks in this image we can enhance the HDR or faux HDR look even further by using a high pass filter if you want to push this effect to its maximum, then stamp visible once again. Remember the keyboard shortcut, Command, Option, Shift, E on a Mac, or Control, Alt, Shift, E on a PC to stamp the visible elements into a new layer. Here I'll just call this one High Pass. OK, let's remove the colour from this layer. Command Shift U on a Mac or Control Shift U on a PC will remove the color from the layer. And then let's set the blend mode to soft light. OK, this has already increased the contrast, but what I want to do is increase the HDR effect. So we'll go to the filter menu, go down to Other, and choose High Pass. Now this filter uh, works best for the faux HDR look by using a heavy radius. At small radiuses, it just has a sharpening effect, but at heavy radiuses, it tends to crease, increase the localized drama or depth of the image. OK, I'm going to use uh, quite a heavy 40 pixel radius here and then select OK. If the effect is a little bit too aggressive, remember we still have the option of reducing opacity slightly to dial in the required look that we're looking for. The only thing left to do with this image is to sharpen it. Let's just zoom in to 50% here so we can see the detail on these rocks. And then we'll bring in a sharpening filter. We'll sharpen a new layer, however, not this high pass layer. Command Option Shift E on a Mac or Control Alt Shift E to stamp the visible layers into a new layer. And we'll rename this one Sharpen. I'll set the blend mode of this new layer to Luminosity as well and then we'll bring in one of the two sharpening filters. For this HDR look, my preference is to use the Unsharp Mask. I'll use quite a high radius for this effect, um, sorry, quite a high amount for this effect, but use a low radius of around one pixel. And also I'll raise the threshold to three before selecting OK. OK, let's just uh, zoom out, take a look at this effect. OK, and uh, I'm liking what I've got here, so that will complete the project.